Hello, I'm Miranda Khan. President Trump says he will keep fighting for his temporary travel ban. We will continue to go through the court process, and ultimately, I have no doubt that we'll win that particular case. Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert says Trump should reissue that travel ban. The president's trying to protect the American public, and he had information that, that he relied on to help America. But the former director of national intelligence, James Clapper, shares a different view. I also worry about this creating a recruiting tool for uh, the extremists. The Ninth Circuit ruled not to reinstate the travel ban. It barred citizens from seven countries, predominantly Muslim ones, from entering the U.S. for at least 90 days. The vice president swears in duly confirmed Health and Human Services Secretary Georgia Congressman Tom Price. The Senate is set to vote on Trump's Treasury and Veterans Affairs Secretary next week. President Trump's National Security Advisor Michael Flynn discussed sanctions with Russia before... Trump's inauguration, at least that's according to the Washington Post. It reports several U.S. officials claim Flynn made explicit references to election-related sanctions by the Obama administration when he talked to Russia's ambassador. And members of Congress are pushing federal officials to investigate Trump's counselor, Kellyanne Conway, this after she promoted Ivanka Trump's clothing line. But New York Congressman Chris Collins defended Conway. This is uh, well, not, not anything other than her commenting to the news of the day in, in a lighthearted fashion. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, Conway said that she was giving Ivanka Trump's clothing line a free commercial after Nordstrom's stopped selling the brand. For much more on these stories, visit Newsmax.com.